Hello, friends. This is Peter D. talking today, not my sacred higher self. Uh, Spirit has asked me to share with you some lessons that I've been uh, creating and uh, teaching to help uh, become closer to source. And so that if you've been watching my channel and seeing how I can speak freely when my higher self is, is present, uh, it's time for you to learn those skills. And I've been asked to teach them to you. So here we go. Um, the first thing you need to do is understand how you are connected to source. And I've produced a video to help you with this. It's called Receive Awakening. And you'll see it in the notes either below this on video or in the podcast where you downloaded it. You'll see a link in the notes on the just receiving directly from source. It's an eye diksha transmission through my eyes, not from me, but from source to help put you in that state. And that's going to create some unconscious changes in you. We call it brain surgery. When I'm laughing with my friends, it's going to rewire some connections so that you'll be more in that state to receive. So that's the first thing. Play with that video and uh, follow the instructions in it. After you've viewed it a few times, see if you can make that connection without the video as an intermediary. So you can just go right into that connection and feel the presence. That's what's so important is feeling the presence. That's a huge step. So if you practice that, you'll start to get that underway and you'll know what it is that you're dealing with when you want to reach out and actually get clear communication uh, like you see in the channeled videos. Now, the second step is going to be clearing your charges, your blockages. You see, you can't get to these higher levels of these higher densities if you're still carrying a negative 3D uh, energies. And, and that's literally just unexpressed emotions, emotions that were not completed. There's no bad or wrong to it. It's just that, uh, you know, you didn't get them out. And so they didn't come out. And uh, now their energy is trapped and it's, keeping you unconsciously at that frequency. And so you can't make these higher connections. So what's going to happen is if you practice the first step where you get in connection and you receive, then you're going to start uh, getting to the second point where uh, these things will come up, they're blockages. And you can't wait for other people to take care of them. That's old school. If you wait for other people to take care of them, it's time for you to step up to the plate. Um, now, there's a few things on my website. One is a uh, using the emotion code. Uh, there'll be a link to that. Uh, developed by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Really, really wonderful stuff. Quick, fast. And the other one is a process that uh, I've uh, received and then created a video to give for you where you can identify what your blockages are and then express them, release them, and have source replace them. So those two things got to be the prerequisites. That's the foundation you got to lay. And it's up to you to take that effort if you want to have that clear connection to source that's vocal, uh, where you're actually becoming a channel. So then when you're there, the next step is how do you get to source? So when, when I learned this, I was given a parable and, and I want to share that parable with you. So let's say you have a new neighbor that moves into the neighborhood. And so you go knock on their door and say, hey, you're my new neighbor. Hi, I'm so glad to meet you. It's nice. And the next day you go knock on their door again and you say, hey, you know, I was eating dinner and I had some pie for dessert and I thought you'd like a piece of pie. So here I am. Here's a piece of pie. Enjoy it. And then the next day you knock on their door again and you say, hey, I was cleaning out my uh, garage and I had some music playing and my streaming service came across this song. I liked it so much. I bought the whole album. Do you want to listen to the download with me? It's kind of fun. You know, and you do this every day. You keep going knocking on your neighbor's door, telling them you enjoy their company and you want to share something with them. And then let's say a couple of weeks goes by and you do that every day and then you don't do it. You don't go knocking on their door. What's your neighbor going to do? Well, you may think, oh, well, we'll be, you know, if you're afraid of who you are. You may say that silly stuff about, oh, we'll be glad I'm giving them a break or whatever. But no, they liked connecting with you. They liked that you liked them. What are they going to do after you don't knock on their door for a while? 
They're going to go check on you. They're going to go knock on your door. Yeah. And that's how you approach spirit. You do it the same way. It's a matter of allowance. It's literally what you can allow as far as the connection to be a channel. It's a matter of allowance. Uh, and because we've been taught that this stuff is extraordinary or outside of us, we never thought we could do it. So you have to practice yourself with it. I gave you the first two steps, right? Uh, get in connection with the presence. And then the second step is to uh, clear your blockages. Then the third step is to create instances where you allow the connection. And how does that look? You make spirit your best friend. Literally, make it your best friend. No more groveling down on the ground. I'm not worthy. All that stuff. Because, you know, you're an aspect of God. And when you connect to your sacred higher self, you're connecting to your spirit. You're connecting to God, right? So make it your best friend because it's you. And that's the relationship that allows clear communication. So what does that look like? So you get up in the morning and you're opening the fridge for breakfast and you say, hmm, I got some bacon, but I know I got some cereal in the cupboard. Hey, spirit, what would you prefer for breakfast, bacon or cereal? Don't expect an answer. Just ask them. Then later on, you're getting ready to go to work or run an errand and you say, hey, spirit, I got to drive across town or I got this bus ride I got to take. You want to come sit with me? Just be with me. Again, don't expect an answer. Just invite them in. Then later on in the day, you're uh, talking to somebody, you're having a really nice conversation at work or whatever, and, and you just pull back mentally for a second and you'd say, okay, spirit, do you got anything you want to add in this conversation? And again, don't expect to hear anything. But you do that as many times as you can possibly imagine throughout the day making spirit your best friend, inviting them into your life. And as you do that over time, it's going to be like the neighbor knocking on the door. And then spirit's going to start coming to you. Now you're already working to sense the presence. So as you sense the present, and after you've done this for a period of time where you keep inviting spirit in regularly, <clears throat> and again, don't get upset if you're not getting anything because you're you're jump-starting a system that hasn't been in function in this dimensionality yet, yet prime the pump and get it going. So as you start to feel the connection presence, you can say, you know, I've been reaching out to you, Spirit, and I would really prefer that you reach out back to me in ways I understand. So I'm feeling this. You know, I can sense the presence, but uh, I'd like to hear it or whatever it is. I think they call it the clearest, clear audience, clear audience, clear sentience, all the different ways you perceive in, in the extra dimensions. So I've even smelled things that aren't there that are triggering information. And when I first started this, I wouldn't get clear communication. I wouldn't get like words or nothing like that. I'd get an energy score and I'd go, ooh, oh, the presence that I'm feeling changed differently. I felt like energy came to me and I'd have to play the translation game. And you work with that for a while. And you'll start to get good at that. And then all of a sudden, it'll be just over a matter of time practice. <clears throat> it'll be like you're actually talking with spirit. Uh, but it may start as energy squirts or sensations or smells or colors or any of that. And then the biggest thing is oh, gratitude. Because you're rewiring and you're reallowing. You're allowing more to come to you. So the key prayer, the key prayer, most powerful prayer ever is thank you more, please. Get into the state of gratitude and then you throw it out in the universe, more, please. You attract more. And as you do the thank you more, please, please prayer, you're going to get more unclear information. And that's how you connect to your sacred higher self. Now, you may not trust it at first, right? Oh, my mind is making it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I have so many people who book sessions with me who just really want affirmation from an external person that this is not, that they're not crazy. So go get that affirmation. And the way you get that affirmation is talk to your friends, the ones you trust in 3D and, uh, or your family, if you trust them and say, Hey, I'm starting to have these extraordinary experiences. Can you play with me? Can you practice with me? Can we play? And you start to ask them, say, hey, do you got anything? I'm getting this kind of connection. Do you want to ask a question? And then 
let it come out. And that'll help practice you taking those energy squirts and translating them into words, okay? And I used a simple customer satisfaction survey. <clears throat> Was this information useful? Doesn't have to be right or wrong, or I have to know this specific thing about your grandmother who's passed over. No, just was this information useful? And then that built up my confidence over time. And you can go forward saying, yeah, this is useful stuff. I can do this. All right. Uh, and, and that's how you do it. You get the confidence, you practice, and then whether or not you choose to take it public or not, that's up to you. Uh, the world needs as much help as it can get, it needs as many of us as possible. Uh, I get this all the time. People who book sessions to me, I'm feeling this calling to do service on the planet. This is it. You get open yourself, let spirit in, you become a bubble of heaven, then you share it. And it may look like videos like this, or it may look like you in your neighborhood. It may look like anything. Uh, but that that's how it's done. Now, here's the cool part. Once you can talk to your soul, your sacred higher self, then you can talk to anybody <clears throat> because you've opened up the communication channel and you did it with yourself that is safe first. Then you can start to do it. And it's simply a matter of identifying frequency. Um, we call that in 3D, knowing their name. All right, you identify their energetic frequency. You can talk to them. Now, this is a scary proposition for many people. Uh, they're like, what? There's entities out there. And there are, and some of them don't have the best intent. Now they don't, go into five and six D they're kind of capped in four D when you don't have good intent, you're still in that duality polarity thing. And so they can't really go to these higher dimensions, but they're still in the astral realm and you still contact them. And they're still, if you got nasty people in your 3D life, you may run into nasty people in your 4D life. So what do you do? You claim your sovereignty. Number one, I am sovereign. This is so important. So important. See the way the universe works is that you are the creator of your consciousness. And therefore, everything that you perceive with that consciousness is your creation. It's kind of trippy to understand I'm the director, the writer, and the actors in my own play and on the audience. It's kind of trippy, but you are. All right. So you write the script. You just say, nothing can come to me that is not in service to love and light. Cut and dried. All right. And then they just can't get to you anymore. All right. Unless you're afraid because you haven't moved your charge. Just remember that old step about your blockages. If you still have an energetic charge that you're afraid, then you'll attract that and you'll wonder why. Go back and move that charge. Okay. So, uh, so that's how that, that, that kind of works is you just make a blanket statement. Excuse me. I got to look at my notes here. Yeah. Nothing comes to me without my permission. Only beings in service to love and light can actually, you know, enter my consciousness, my realm. Then set limits. Hey, if you want to talk to me, you got to knock. Because when I first had that experience, it was like they were all over. Everybody is out there. It's a sea of life. And I was in the middle of it going, whoa, a lot of voices. So I asked my friend GW. He's a man. I've been a mentor for me. And I said, GW, what do I do? And he said, tell him to shut up. Because <laughs> you have the power. Again, you're sovereign. <laughs> you determine all that. I didn't know that. So just tell him to shut up. And say any entity that wants to talk to me has to ask. And then you put up a test, you know, what's your name? If they're not giving you a clear name, then do you really want to talk to them, right? Because we don't know what their agenda is. Now, the name may not be a word like you can say in 3D. It may be an energy seek signature or a color pattern or a song or something because that's the frequency they're in. But get a clear sense of what their, their frequency signature is. And that's how you can tell whether or not you want to talk to them, All right? So ask them. To identify themselves and then feel their energy. Remember that whole thing about being in the presence of your source and then feel, is this energy something I like or not? And if it's not, thank you, so God, I've got to go. <laughs> All right, and go to keep filling you up and those you resonate with. And then you can contact any entity. And then from there, your skill development is unlimited. Uh, because if you can identify the frequency of an entity to be able to speak with them, you start to understand that all time and space, as we know it in our dimensionality, has a frequency signature. And if you can identify that frequency, then boom, you're there. So that's how you remote view, that you can go back and look at events. Uh, and uh, I mean, that's how spaceships move in the higher dimensions, right? It's like they don't travel across the void. That takes forever. They just identify the time, space, frequency, signature of where they would like their ship to be. It's there. And so 
So this is what's coming for you. And these are some steps and they may sound really simple, but they work if you practice them. So quick review. All righty. Number one, connect with source. And there'll be a link on a video to help you with that. Number two, clear blockages, because that's how open you're going to be. And there's going to be a link to two separate videos to help you with that. One on the emotion code, one on clearing charges. And then number three, invite, invite, practice, just make spirit your best friend. No more of this up, down, I must worship you because you're higher than me thing. No, you're a fractal of that. And you're expressing and you're understanding you're a fractal of that. So you own it and you claim it and you just invite them constantly into your day. And then you start asking for responses in ways you understand. Practice getting those responses by with your friends and family. And then set limits because you can open up to any entity or any experience that's available because it's the multiverse and you're in it now. Hey, I hope this helps. And if you need some coaching along the way, uh, my website is becomingawesome.one, becomingawesome.one. And uh, book a session with me. It's by donation, so it's not going to cost you anything unless you feel inspired and want to give something, you know? And uh, we can talk, because one, it helps me to see what's going on with people, and I love making the connection of Ooh, somebody else has come across. Yay, got another one on this side. It's just kind of sweet. And uh, it's good sometimes to get the affirmation from somebody who's, who's made that step. All righty. Many blessings.